Hey mom, my loves. I hope that all is well with you. We are going to cleanse the energy and then we're going to tap in, do a quick reading. This reading is going to be about carrying the whole team. Someone feels like they have to carry the whole team. Um, also, I was getting, you can't walk a mile in my shoes. So I don't know if this is pertaining to like sport. If it is, I'm getting more so like a football, basketball sort of thing. So this could be pertaining to sports. Um, this could also be pertaining to um, a child or an adult. Um, so, you know, you kind of got to use your discernment with this message. You know, this could even be a masculine that's like the whole team, like the whole family is depending on him. You know, so again, use your own discernment with this. I was also getting, we can't be in competition on the same team. So these both are new cards that I just wrote. But these were like heavy messages that I've been getting, okay? So, um, you know, this could be as far as parenting, you know, someone could feel like they're in competition with a co-parent. This could be, you know, a child that is on a team and then they're having issues with a teammate. Um, this could be like I said, a man that's like having to hold down the fort that's got like everyone depending on him sort of thing. But then it could be issues in that. So I'm getting like it is a team effort overall or it's supposed to be like a group, but it's, it's issues within this, okay? So most high spirit guys, ancestors of the highest white light, please give me clarity on what it is that we need to know. Clear and accurate messages for any and everyone that is involved here. Please give us constant protection. Thank you for your mercy and your grace that follows us along our days. May you receive the guidance that you come here for. Okay, so Wow, actually, okay, so 9-11 was yesterday, so it was like a little rough on the energy, okay? Um, okay, I was getting, last night, I was getting um, Jeezy. Jeezy, Air Forces. Okay, and they can't walk a mile in my shoes. And like, I got can't walk a mile in my shoes, but once I listened to that song, it was like, oh, wow. Okay, so in that song, we went from old school Chevys to drop top Porsches. You couldn't walk a mile off in my Air Forces. Okay, someone could be a part of the Air Force, and then there could be some beef within that as well. You know, you, again, you have to take this however. Um, it's like, you know, you don't understand what it is that I have to do. It's like, I, I'm getting the energy of this, like, where someone doesn't doesn't understand what the captain is doing or saying. So if you guys are like code, I don't know if this, I don't know. But then after that, I've been getting 23 and then seeing 23. But it was like shortly after that, <clears throat> I seen Mike Will made it 23. And it has Miley Cyrus, Wiz Khalifa, and Juicy J in it. So someone could be a sneaker head. Um, basketball, I went through my Google memories today, trying to figure out what happened, you know, going back over the dates here. 
and um, 23 was very significant. So definitely basketball. But I seen a picture of my son holding a basketball. This was like five years ago. And my son was like posing over the basketball. And I was like, oh, look at this. So yes, basketball is very significant here. Like in that video, the um, 23 with all the different um, artists in it. That video has like Miley Cyrus and she got on like the jersey dresses. So somebody could have had jersey dresses or, you know, something like that. I don't know. Just like if it's not a jersey dress, then it's just like a female that's like um, cheering you on here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And as I said that, it was 555 five, five on the clock. So definitely it's like, even if it feels chaotic here, then you still have someone that's like on the sidelines cheering you all. Okay. All right, spirit guys. So what is it? This is a glorious time for me to be on this earth. Positive energy. Okay, surround yourself with positive people, situations, and avoid negativity. Again, you can't be on the same team and in competition. It has to be positive energy. That is absolutely mandatory. You cannot function in chaos and confusion. Okay? Strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Thank you, Spirit. Please give us clarity. It has given you the strength to actually carry the whole team. And to understand the leadership qualities. You know, you have to have the strength, the positive energy in order to carry the team. All right, what else? Look, what I said, children. I said something about children could be involved in this, okay? And what made me say that for sure, like right off the top, and what made me know for sure that this was a message was I made these cards up and, you know, I still got a couple cards over here that I have to finish making, but I was making these, I was making more cards and I thought that I put them inside, but I guess I just set them to the side right here and it somehow ended up right behind me. Like literally right behind me this way. And it was right up under my son's shoe. And what's crazy is because at his game, he literally said that as soon as he got in the car after his game, he was like, man, I really carried the whole team out there. And I was like, you know, that's that's cool. You know, as a quarterback, you pretty much the, you know. So, but this says, your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. Okay? But not only with that, like I was saying, um, he said that, and then yesterday as we were leaving the grocery store, then one of the other, um, the cheerleaders' moms that I know, she just kept asking at the game Saturday, who is number seven? Who is number seven? Who is number seven? And I was just like, um, I'm thinking she said 11. So, you know, it was people in the stands that was like, who kid is that? Who kid is that? You know, and I was just like, obviously not understanding what number they were saying. So 7-Eleven could be very significant. Uh, significant could have been a mix-up or something like that. Even if it's not that, okay. Um, I 
it's still like could be very significant with a child of tears. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it there. Artist could be very significant. Someone could be an artist. Someone could be engaging in artistic activities. You could be telling someone else this. This could be pertaining to your child. This could be, you know, you, someone else, whatever. Okay. Let us see. The vibration of my being influences the universe. So that is why it's very vital in order for people to be in positive energy and to have positive energy. Because everything vibrates and it is communicating, reacting, and responding with other vibrational beings. Because that is the vibration, the frequency that you were on. Once you began to offer your vibrations on purpose, now you are in absolute control of your experiences. You're able to actually manifest and to maneuver and move around and, you know, do what needs to be done here. You're able to think clearly. You're able to move and, you know, lead the team like you're supposed to because you're in the right energy. Okay, so let's see. What is going on here? Sheesh. Okay, let's see. I have to get less cards. It's easier to shuffle. Hating assholes gossiping about you, but they gossiping about you like you don't have the tea on them. Okay, a feminine energy. Consequences or intentions are to be bullshit free. Okay. These, whoever this is that's gossiping and hating here, karma, they're going to experience karma. There's a female that's trying to be bullshit free. Again, you there's a cheerleader that's like cheering you on. Okay. Okay, carrying the whole team. Clarity on carrying the whole team. Carrying the whole team. Never love another person more than you love yourself. Because someone is a waste of time. Okay, so it's just like you got to know. You got to have this balance when something is a waste of fucking time. Not only that, but it's crazy that this fell out. Because the other card. What is it? Reprobate is someone good for nothing, a villain, disapproval, shameless, wicked, and rough. And why that's right before the Jeezy Air Forces and the Mike Will Made It song. I should have just went on and just read my notes. Okay, the purpose of yelling could be very significant here. Um... Mistakes navigating you through your life, allowing your mistakes to navigate you through your life. 
yeah look a loving woman here to help mankind so that's again very significant with a female here yeah somebody is in survival mode here whoever this is that's carrying the whole team they're literally in survival mode i was getting them okay I need a girl like you. She will be loved. Masculines sharing their body with just anybody needing to understand their self-worth here. Whoever this person is, if there is a person that is a waste of fucking time, you know, tell them to come pick up your pieces. You know, you're not fucking with them no more or you're not dealing with it, you know, whatever. Whatever the issue is with this. Um, carrying the whole team. Maybe not even who you sleeping with, but this is more so, you know, just taking care of yourself. And what is and isn't worth your energy. Yeah, look, reprobate. How I just looked at the bottom of the deck and that's what was there. Someone who is unprincipled, who is good for nothing. That's this dog, this waste of space that got to go. You have to be in positive energy. You get three wishes here. So you guys take a moment. I'm going to see what else falls out here. But your fairy godparents are here to wish you. Yeah, look. I have to find out what life is like without you. And whatever it is that they offered. A fair exchange isn't robbery. It is a give and take. So... You know, you have to find out what an actual fair exchange is. Okay, someone could feel like they're being robbed, robbed of their time, their energy, something like that here. Fair exchange isn't robbery. It is an equal give and take. So finding out what an equal give and take is. Love is the highest frequency. Yeah. Let's see, this is a big spot. Where's the spot? Okay, so you get three wishes. You guys make your wishes. Come in. You're about to meet the reason that you couldn't settle if this was pertaining to a person. Or, you know, whatever. You're going to figure out why you couldn't settle for whatever this is. Okay? Say your affirmations. Someone's wishes could be that the healing work is finally over with and that they're able to move forward. Okay, this death note is served. So somebody could be dying. Okay. 
unconditional love is on the direct path to you. So literally, I feel like somebody is like, Heal, I'm ready to be healed already or like when the fuck is this going to be over with because I got that um yeah with that major nine what's love love is when you give a bitch a heart yes okay so that makes sense when you give a bitch a heart hold on Listen, what did I tell you? Number two, and then this was twenty one. <laughs> Not make this shit up, bro. <laughs> wow. No, you fucked up. Understanding and appreciating. So somebody may be trying to figure out what love is. So definitely children is involved with this somewhere. Cherish your motherfucking body. Divine feminine. Somebody's saying they need a true divine feminine here. Keep choosing love. That is your greatest asset to others. Love covers a multitude of sins. Even if you're under attack, somebody ancestors are not playing. Okay? And they should have listened whenever you said some shit. Okay? So whoever, yeah, whoever come before you, they took the wrong look. <clears throat> Don't lose your rider entertaining the passengers. Somebody fucked up. They took the wrong turn. Okay. So.
Yeah, see, I've never loved before, but I think I love you. So it's like literally somebody is like. Someone could have tried to poison you. They are definitely getting fucking karma. This could be a Virgo or a Pisces that is a rolling stone. You have to respect people. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck is this, honey? Poison. Try to get away with it. Six. A Pisces. Respect people for who they are. Yeah, little miss thriving in motherhood. But someone was obsessed here. Or this person, whoever this was that was trying to do some shit, they lost the power. Okay, carrying the whole team. Carrying the whole team. Yeah, somebody overworking. Low standards. Definitely, like I said, could be with a job here, needing to do better. So again, using your discernment to know when the fuck is good. And yeah, look, go to that messy spot. Figure out, you know, what's worth giving it a shot and what's not. Okay, a single father, glow up personal. Your intuition is your best friend. Listen to it. Yeah, look, never let anyone poison you. So there is a masculine here who could have um, experienced some poisoning at a celebration, some sort of party. Yeah, you're about to glow up into this awakening man here, learning boundaries and all of that stuff. Learning how to use your intuition. Just need to clean it up a bit. Tidy up a bit is what I'm hearing. I'm not talking about your home. Somebody needs a vacation here. Look, I fumbled the ball, coach. So again, if this is pertaining to children, ball is here. <laughs> so. Four, four, four on the right track. Someone is protected here and someone else has consequences. Yeah, said. 
the trickster for causing disorder, destruction, warfare, violence. Said could be these dates could be very significant here. The masculine O through S, prepare for sudden events. September 28th through October 2nd could be very significant. Masculines O through S. Evil, wow, bro, do y'all speak? I can't make this shit up. This the motherfucking evil eye. And that shit clearly just fell off with the rest of my neck. Let me go and put my shit on, because I don't know what wicked shit is going on. But look at my bracelet. This the type of things that I was looking at, consider doing. But I found this at a fair, and I was super excited to get this. But anyways, definitely keep yourself protected, honey, from this, this distraction, this order, this violence, chaos, okay? Look what I told you. Outside influences. Stay protected. Keep yourself strapped. Okay? Your kids as well. This says kids and your job. So definitely something with kids and jobs here. You can have a Pisces or a Vir I mean... Yeah, Pisces or Virgo child. Something could be significant with a Pisces or Virgo. You know, take it however. All right, let's see what else do we have here for. Okay, this could even be pertaining to love here. You know, sleeping with the enemy is real. So you got to take it however. Okay. Seth, let's get clarity on Seth, please. Clarity on set, please. Okay, this is a one-sided charity. Someone giving money. Someone could be giving money to cause chaos and disorder. This could be something pertaining to a job where it's an even flow, where you work and then you get paid for it sort of thing. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, see what I told you, a job or a partner. So this is either a person or a job. Again, take it however. But there is a lack of teamwork somewhere. Female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Someone's destiny here. Scorpio, or it's a lack of teamwork and somebody fucking passing away because of this goddamn spell. It's one or the other. I'm getting death spells not working because this is the will of fortune in reverse.
This is clearly under attack here. Outside influences, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Clearly outside influences. The fucking poison card even fell off. So whatever this is. Yeah, somebody has a Gemini, no, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Child. So we have Scorpio here and we have Pisces here. There's something to do with a child. The Devil, Capricorn. And Taurus. Consequences that affect other people. A Taurus and Capricorn. Could be very significant with this. This could be the job, the kid, the, the partner. Let's see. I feel like a job that someone has is a lack of teamwork. There's not like a group effort. There could be a transformation here from the toxic bullshit. That could be what this unrequited love is. Okay, so Taurus, untidy thoughts. And yeah, if you look at it, then that's exactly what the brain is. It's scattered. So Taurus, your brain could be scattered right now. Your vision could be scattered right now. You're definitely protected with this 444 here. Peace, purity, progress, staying level-headed. So definitely keep yourself together. What's going on with Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? Yeah, something about your vision, something that you're manifesting here is going to come true is a wish fulfillment here. Your vision is coming to light. Oh, so Taurus, this is something that you may have said that is coming to light. The revelation is coming to light. Wow. Okay. So I feel like somebody coming to, I just heard a weak ass offer. So <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that she was clear as fuck. Okay. Give me clarity on this Capricorn here or this bondage. Capricorn. Capricorn, this devil. Clarity on the devil card, please. A present. This could be a transformation. Because we got the um, the hermit card. <clears throat> or a Capricorn working with a Virgo. Because that's the three of pentacles. So a Capricorn working with a Virgo clarity. 
Capricorn working with a Virgo. Someone's discovering this. Someone's realizing this here. A thief. Someone could have stole something. A Capricorn. A thief is under judgment. If somebody's stealing some shit at work, they are being watched here. Judgment and hermit. And the two of wands. Trying to steal someone's gift. Yeah, to cause misfortunes. They're under judgment now. Clarity for judgment, please. Clarity for judgment. Judgment. For some secrets. Yeah. Or a Pisces is under judgment. Pisces under judgment. Because they didn't close out a cycle with a Leo. Or there is some secrets with a Leo. But I'm getting someone closing out a cycle. Having the strength to close out a cycle here. But I'm also seeing... Someone under judgment because of some secrets. This could be a Leo secrets. It could be what they do in private here. Or someone's wanting to talk in private about the things that are, you know, fucking them up mentally. Yeah, a Virgo or some, yeah, look like the ancestors are watching over this deception here. You could be socializing with a Sagittarius, a Gemini, and getting help, or getting angelic help, Geminis. Yeah, look, a tower is falling to whoever this is that's doing magic. If a tower is falling around you, keep the faith, keep your vision, stay patient. Someone could be feeling like they lost out on an opportunity to close out a cycle. 
yeah, and to gather their emotions to like really get themselves together. Okay, satisfaction here. To imagine someone is definitely defeated here. Someone could be leaving a female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. That's codependent. What's going on with leaving love? Let's get clarity on leaving love, please. Whoa, way too many. Foolish action. So leaving somebody because of their foolish shit. Again, self-love is the best love. The devil trying to steal your gift. You could have been disappointed by this Virgo or by this Capricorn. Whoever this is, they're under judgment. Yeah. This Virgo masculine or Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So yeah, this could be all of them. So whatever with this earth sign masculine, I'm getting this sort of energy over here. And then I'm getting fire sign. And then I got air. So y'all got to take it however. A fire, um, this earth sign masculine, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Being held at a, as a prisoner. Celebrating. Leaving someone out in the cold. And depressed. Someone really felt like they was left high and dry. Yeah, there's no secrets about this. If you're worried, you're needing to look at things from a different perspective. Moving on. No longer in conflict or having temptations around you. There's a male fire sign that could be sick right now. Or this person's like mentally sick, whatever, take it however. Please. Queen of Pentacles expressed gratitude. Oh, money coming, baby. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Like, new opportunities. New shit. Like, what? Yes, something about your, your investments. Something that you've been working on, a wish fulfillment is definitely coming. Stay focused here. Now let's get clarity on Gemini. Gemini. Clarity on Gemini, please. This Aries Leo Sagittarius could have been the one that got poisoned. Okay, a Gemini. Gemini lover. Let's get clarity on Gemini. You can have Gemini twice in your in your chart, some on rising. 
okay protection is that someone outside of my house no okay cool Yeah, carrying burdens is a risk here for someone. Carrying burdens with this lover is a risk. Someone's using the law of focus here. Knowing that they are protected, knowing that they are growing and exercising their patience. Clarity on Gemini. Discovering something about this Gemini. You guys could be realizing that it's a risk for someone to continue to carry on the burdens with a lover. Okay. Sagittarius. All right, let's get clarity for Sagittarius, please. Or what's going on with this temperance? Clarify temperance, please. Clarity on temperance, please. Temperance. events getting angelic help about this person pertaining to this person or what happened with this person yeah envious someone that they work with was envious so someone could have got sick at work somebody did some shit to your shit while you were working look death card and fucking Sagittarius. I ain't playing. Sagittarius Scorpio cusp. Sagittarius Scorpio cusp. Let's get clarity for them, please. Online looking up information. And if you come across this video and the title stuck out to you, it is for a reason. Scorpio Pisces Cancer here. Or there's a female that is online looking for information. A Scorpio Sag Cusp. May they be answered here. You're getting the truth about someone jealous. Or if you're in doubt, you're about to get clear on the things that you're doubting. You could be online looking up something because you don't believe maybe something you've heard. So definitely always use your own discernment. Yes, someone created no contact in a marriage here. Yeah, with their temptation, the mother, look, temptation again. It's Pisces, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure I'm saying the right thing. Nope, the fool is Aquarius. Temptations and illusions, Aquarius, or someone taking a leap of faith towards the the temptation that's being thrown their way. Look, it got temptation, so this could be something pertaining to this Gemini here. Fantasy football is what I just heard.
There's definitely some event here, some social event. Maybe someone couldn't go to a social event because they were sick. Okay, let's see what's going on in the days or weeks here. Projected. What's going on this week? What's going on this week? Stay patient. Stay focused. Continue to pray. Yeah, cancer. Or taking control. Someone's like hoping that they're able to control some shit. Something about cancer here. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and envious energy. There's a male and a female. Or someone could be envious over your, your connection here. What's going on with this chariot energy? Someone taking control and taking action as well. Yeah, look at that. Money, good news, love. Someone's lover is an Aries here. Somebody definitely got some good shit going on. Uh, Aries trying to get away with something that someone is discovering about. Someone's learning about this Aries doing some shit and now they're worried. Or this Aries is worried that someone will find out about some sneaky shit that they have been doing. They've been having an affair. That's the three of hearts. So yeah. Three of cups. Yeah, somebody's married. Somebody could be getting married. Or this could be pertaining to someone's marriage. What's going on with this marriage here? Thank you. Spiritually protected. Yeah, some good news is coming. Someone could be getting married. Yeah, look, no losses. Somebody's not taking any fucking losses here. They're celebrating. One, two, three, four. Somebody definitely got boys. Five. Act when necessary. So the moves. Make sure that you are moving at a good time. Where things are reliable here. You're not like doing shit just too fast just because. Yeah. Transfer. To be sensitive. And harmony. Like. Not being in bullshit, but in harmony and peace. Yeah, look, somebody greedy. Whoever this says that's being greedy is going to be locked up. There could be a mother that regrets being greedy. Trying to get all the praise and recognition. Yeah, somebody's releasing themselves from the 
from being trapped here. Yeah, and they're manifesting the damn Ace of Pentacles that's coming. I told you somebody's mother regrets betraying them. Or somebody mother is Let me see. What's going on with this four of pentacles in reverse here? Your inner child is saying, stand the fuck up. That, look, that's going to solve the problem for you being trapped. Or stand the fuck up to someone from your childhood, someone from your past. To whoever these greedy motherfuckers is. There's a mother that regrets betraying someone. Mother regrets betraying an empath. Wow, bro, I can't make this up. Yeah, look, baby, just let it be. Asking for forgiveness now, possibly. Yeah, having this unbreakable bond with yourself. You may not know about the betrayal or some loss that you may have taken, but someone is in regret because of this now. Told you, those that throw dirt lose the ground underneath them. They dig in their own fucking grave. Someone to be lazy or stuck, or they're saying someone is lazy or stuck and needs to make better choices. Or someone could be making better choices, but other people is talking shit about you. Yeah. You're wanting to go to your Ten of Pentacles, not to just bullshit. Aries, memories. So something about this Aries replaying over in your head, their agenda. Look, period. Moving on from the conflict, the competition, the bullshit, the fighting and bullshit, and focusing on their motherfucking self. Okay, a Pisces. You could be fighting with a Pisces and you're moving to calmer waters. No job, no home, nowhere. It should not be. Look, Pisces. Negative external forces. Unable to move on. Gift. So be careful. I was getting, um, be careful with receiving gifts from other people. Libra energy. Things are going, your gifts, yeah, look, you may not know this, but you're, or see this here, but you're overcoming trials and tribulations. Even if you can't see what their whole agenda is, what their purpose is, okay? Someone lurking.
You're free from your childhood. You're free from your past. Wow. And that says bound to the past, bro. What the Someone literally is like stuck here or they were and now there's freedom. There's self-esteem. There's royalty. An Aquarius. Could be attracted to a, a Capricorn that's unhealthy or an Aquarius is in bondage with some unhealthy shit. This is a Capricorn lover or an Aquarius lover here. That is unhealthy, that's toxic, that's bondage. reindeer the feelings are mutual with this Virgo there's a Virgo Capricorn dealing with each other there's the feelings are mutual with the faith with the abundance and with the accomplishments here yeah to people having to show respect. The Most High agrees you have to respect. Everyone has free will. You have to respect people's rights. Someone's needing to relax with their family, spending time with their family, or not spend as much time with their family. I don't know. Let's see. Justice here. So justice for this poison a uh, libra you will know whoever this is that could or would try to do something here towards Virgo capricorn masculine needing to make better choices yeah to withdraw from something Release that heartbreak and to get new love here. All right, what else do you have? Someone's mother could be a Libra or someone's creating justice. Um, you could be dealing with an aquarius and you're not attracted to them you don't want their love offer or you're needing to refresh your thoughts and make better choices yeah but this teamwork here being speaking more intelligent determined to fix your thoughts A Scorpio could be saying that they love your entire existence or Scorpio you guys could be hearing that yeah look competition and some new beginnings a new endeavor Someone's mother could be an Aries or a Libra. Competition. Gold oriented. 
the deck is not as expected okay Scorpio let's get more clarity and then I'm going to end it what else does they need to know about carrying the whole team you're getting some news here Leo's again taking care of others carrying the whole team close mouths don't get fed Leo look having an affair exchanging oral sex with a masculine earth sign so there's a Leo having an affair with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn masculine here and somebody finding out about this okay cancer a new environment will make all the difference walking away from an older woman cancer your energy is upside down right now I'm not liking this Cancers walking away from an older woman. This woman could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but I did say someone didn't want this Aquarius. So I don't know how that's going. What's going on? Walking away from this older woman. You guys can be a leader. Someone could have moved away from an older woman or they're having to, but they're really not quite ready to move on from it. Okay. Carrying the whole team as a leader to growth. Like that's that's what you're supposed to do. Alright, someone could be giving money to a Leo here. Yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Actions speak louder than words, so if this shit ain't growing, then let it go. Okay. Somebody's not ready to grow yet. Yeah, look, spiritual growth is in reverse. Love or business. And that's the truth. Someone could be releasing this love that's toxic here. All right, so let's get one more, but I'm going to end it carrying the whole team. Okay, official person. You're the official person to carry the whole team. Okay, child. Whoa. Separation. Okay, the codependency shit is trash. Someone is definitely getting rid of their addictions and this codependent energy here throughout this separation. Your soulmate differs from your usual type and expectations here. 
So I feel like someone definitely could be getting your soulmate, but this person is going to be different from your usual type. So stay open to heart-to-heart -to -heart conversations. You very well could meet your fucking soulmate. Okay, work. Let's get clarity on your occupation here. That could be the codependent energy, you know, going to work for someone else. Someone's definitely getting money from work here. Occupation. Clarity on occupation here, please. You will have a job very soon if you don't have one. If you're in toil and labor, you're needing to free yourself and focus on your family room. Focus on your home. Okay. Or something that you're doing from home that you're passionate about. That is your gift. Somebody could be traveling for the holidays, or you did. Some of you guys could be getting to know someone new. And you're needing to know that you are lovable, you are worthy of love. Just make the effort, okay? And disconnect from the world if need be. Someone definitely could be going to the courthouse here with this separation. Yeah, message of concern. So someone's wedding or this court date could be a message of concern here. Yeah, because of some deception, someone loved themselves first. Brought an end to shit that had them in despair. But yet... Expressing their love and their attraction for other men that are wealthy. Someone could be a wealthy man here. Okay. As you're forgiving your parents, you are able to heal. So definitely something from your past. Carrying that around. Someone could be thinking about getting married here. Letting their friends help them prepare for their marriage. Have fun. Don't be bridezilla is what I'm hearing. There also could be a female that is not feeling well right now. I'm hearing like she got to be an asset, no liabilities, okay? Yeah, somebody has to release their ex. And someone else could be meeting the one here, changing their ways and then you meet the one. Okay, yeah, as you mature. Pay attention to whatever red flags pertaining to children. Damn. Whoever this female is that's sick, she's dying. Shit. All right, I'm ending it here. Goddamn, that's a lot. That's all I got for you.